Hi everybody, um, and it's been a very long time since I vlogged or uploaded uh, a video on my YouTube channel. It's been a little over a year now, like three days over a year. Uh, that's my fault. Uh, it's been a long time coming and I've missed you and every single day I've had upload on YouTube on my to-do list and um, a lot has happened in the past year that I need to fill you in on. So here's a day in my life as a college senior at the University at Buffalo on a Sunday, a lazy Sunday. Um, right now it is 1.52. I have a lot to do, but I haven't done it yet and that's okay sometimes. So this is a lazy Sunday as a college student, but a productive lazy Sunday. How are you? Good. Tired? I'm very tired. Emily had a busy night. Okay, so ignore the mess that is my room. And I'm officially changed for the gym. I look dead. I know. But <laughs> I have so many more plants now. Like, <sighs> hello. And then, you know her. And now we have a fiddly fig. This is a begonia. She's turned because she uh, is growing one way. We have a snake plant and we have a pilea. And then over here we have a succulent, which I normally hate succulents, but this one's alive and I don't know how. Um, and then we have whatever this is. I don't know what this is, but it's, it's something cute. <laughs> and then up here we have a variegated Pothos. Very exciting. And then in the living room, I'm going to get my shoes in a minute. In the living room, we have the murder board and also a Christmas tree. And then we also have this little crunchy coffee plant and another variegated string of pearls. If the camera will focus, there we go. And then I don't know why I'm in cinematic mode right now. Then we have this alocasia, which is like massive, but it was only twenty eight dollars, and I got it for my birthday. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Becca. <laughs> Okay, so I was leaving the gym just now, and I feel really good, by the way. Um, I love it, like, after a workout, how you feel, even if it's just a short one like today. Um, it was kind of hard to get myself motivated today to go, so I just did something really quick, and I feel good, so that's good. Today, it was, it's a little rainy, as I'm sure you can see from my window. The rain smells weird. Like, usually rain smells so nice, and... <laughs> It just smells a little musty and it might just be like eerie but it it's weird right like that's weird anyway time for my coffee that i just drank this morning i just wanted to come on and say this i think an important thing to do know is to not restrict yourself too much like um i <laughs> so i got chipotle ranch and queso on here but i also um got like fruits and veggies well i guess is avocado fruit i think it's a fruit i also got fruits and veggies on here and i didn't get like a sugary drink that i've had the same drink all day that's just like my thing that i do is i <laughs> i have the same drink literally all day i just sip it really slowly i don't know why i do that i just do um, but I think that's important to allow yourself to have things that you like. Like, I love the queso. I think it's okay to do that every so often. Like, you don't want to do it, like, every single time you eat. <laughs> you don't want to get, like, cheese and, well, I mean, like, you could get cheese, because, like, some people just get cheese for every meal. But, like, it just depends on you, and you just shouldn't, like, take away everything that you love 
when you are trying to be healthier because I think part of being healthy is nourishing your mind as well and nourishing your mental state <laughs> and if if chipotle ranch makes you happy then go ahead eat the chipotle ranch Here's a fit check. I still not wearing makeup, but that's because it's a lazy Sunday. But Lululemon sweatshirt, cropped obviously, and then Lululemon leggings, and these raccoon socks. They're raccoons drinking wine, and they are so cute. My roommate gave them to me, <laughs> and I'm absolutely in love with them. Ignore the mess I was trying to decide my outfit. <laughs> I'm trying to film this discreetly as I'm putting on my shoes. But these people outside are doing something and I don't know what they're doing. But it's gonna look great if I just stand there. But it's it's a hot, it's a big orange rope. What you doing? We're gonna, we're gonna take a picture of things like Hi everybody. The weirdest thing just happened to me. A squirrel just dropped out of the sky and onto my car. So this is the end of the video. It's the next day uh, after I filmed all that. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about why I've been gone so long. And there's really no excuse. Um, I've had make YouTube video on my to-do list every single day since I stopped uploading. And there are a lot more of you now. And I'm so grateful for that. I love that so much. There's so many other things going on in my life at the moment. Um, since I published that video, number one, I was published and that was the announcement for that video. Um, that was the purpose of that video. Um, I became an advanced reader for uh, different publishers. I started doing more film projects and I am currently working on publishing my second short story. It was too much to do uploading and all of that. And now that I am here, I can finally feel inspired again and do it on my own time and do what I like to do. I am going to be graduating in like a month and a half and I couldn't be more terrified. So right now I'm just kind of using this as an opportunity to take a deep breath and find something in my life that I feel like I can control. The thing is, when you compare yourself to other people, you always feel inferior in some way. And a few of my friends already have apartments, they already have jobs lined up for after graduation that they can just start right away. There are people who are going to get their master's degree and there are people like my best friend who are leaving again and going back to their college and finishing their last couple years and I feel like without school I don't have a purpose. I'm sick of never being enough for myself and that's partly why I left too um, because I didn't feel like I could compare. I hope you don't feel like that, but if you do, I hope you understand that I loved doing YouTube and I love what I do in general. I love making films and I love, I have made like four films and I haven't uploaded them because I felt insecure about them and then I felt it was too late to upload them uh, once I did finally feel like confident in them. COVID was hard. So basically, in short, the reason I left is I didn't want to leave. I just felt so overwhelmed 
and that I was scrambling to keep up. But I'm here now and we're okay. I love you all and being that girl or that guy or that person is fake. That's what I want to leave you with. Basically, this isn't the entire process, but the first step to being that person that you want to be is change in mindset. And then you can go from there, but I'm still working on step one, so. I hope you guys appreciated me being candid. So, um, I love you all. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day. Um, I'm gonna go do homework, and I love you guys. Bye. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But it's I'll not be coming okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright <coughs> And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But I'll be okay The past is where it stays Way back a year ago. Way back a year ago. Way back a year ago.